Hello, this is James. I am just completing my third for third Yami Yugi farm. Proceed to the battle phase with the Union Attack and a huge Gravekeeper's Vassal. Let's hit that weak middle. Yeah! 19,500. I keep reading it as like 195,000. Anyway, Mokuba Kaiba, we win. Life points reduced to zero. And uh, let's see... Let's see how that how that came about. Uh, so we have comeback victory cards in the brink. Victory by effect damage only. Prisma glossy 999 damage. Spell trap special summon. Mmm. And uh, very stingy drops. But we did get mother loving Griffor. Oh oh. This is like the first Yu-Gi-Oh monster that I can remember like existing. All right all right. So we have 8K score confirmed. And uh, let's look at a couple. So this is my third farm of Yami Yugi with this deck using the Silent Swordsman. This is pay to win. Um, you, you could actually accomplish this with only one Silent Swordsman. But uh, you know, having, having more just gives you some redundancy in case you mess up. And lets you, uh, lets you have a little more security. Uh, so that last, I have been using the EX, not the, I have been using the gems. I have been using the gems, not the gems, what are they? The power crystals. I have been using the extra life, yeah, that's where the EX came from. I have been using the extra life power crystals in order to farm Yami Yugi, uh, because he's very stingy with the drops and his deck is uh, pretty OTK strong, even though... Even though uh, they gave us a notice, like, the, I guess Yami Yugi was too hard. Everybody was saying he was too hard. Um, and they toned down the deck a little bit, so he's he's less OTK. I don't know exactly what... I don't know exactly what uh, cards they removed from his deck. Like, I thought it was Magician Navigation, but the, I think they cut Magician Navigation down to one. Because I haven't been... Like, I used to see it all the time, and now I only see it some of the times. Ooh, look at that. Look at that animation. Mmm. Dark Magician keeping it tight. With the eyes of power. Alright, so... What, uh, what this deck is, is we have... Silent Swordsman. Uh, from the Structure deck. And protection from Silent Swordsman in the form of Noble Arms of Destiny. Silent Swordsman himself, you can see him nuking the, uh, the spells of the Dark Magician right there. Uh, and his protection is himself, uh, Noble Arms of Destiny, a tributable warrior monster, the Shield Warrior, and, uh, and Silent Sword Slash. And this deck list is post list compliant on stream. I was memeing around with Amazons with triple Silent Sword Slash, which we're not going to have in a couple of weeks. I'm still releasing that video, though, because it was great fun. Um... You usually now. Ordinarily, I would you if I'm just gonna go pay to win farm. I would just go to full pay to win farm. I would use like Wall of D. I would use Curse of Anubis. I would use Windstorm. However, however, um, Silent Swordsman does not. Oh no, not Silent Swordsman. Yami Yugi has. Extended Soul. I think they also cut that down the one, because I don't see that nearly as often. Uh, but he, he has uh, Extended Soul, which prevents his Dark Magicians from being affected by any of my cards whatsoever. So, for this version of Silent Swordsman Farm, I am focusing on cards that only do stuff to my monsters and don't do anything to his monsters. That's, that's the idea of the deck, right? Uh, Noble Arms of Destiny protects your monster. It does not protect. Uh, it does not affect Dark Magician in any way, and therefore uh, it can afford your Silent Swordsman protection, even if Yami Yugi has. It's either Eternal Soul or Extended Soul. Anyway, it's the it's the pic, it's the Pictolith with the with the Dark Magician on it, and then we just get out our dark, our Silent Swordsman. The second Silent Swordsman is not necessary. We're using Draw Sense Light, so 
you all we need is one, and then he just keeps pumping up every, every, every turn. And then we attack with uh, Gravekeeper's Vassal, as you just witnessed. Uh, let's do one. Uh, so I, sh I showed you the end of one. Uh, and then I'm going to show you the second one. Yeah, so that was... I, those are my three farms with Yami Yugi. It was three out of three successful. For each one, I did use the Power Crystal of Extra Life. But I only needed it in one, and I only needed it in um, in this one, I think. Yeah, so we have our two shield warrior, we have our noble arms of destiny. Yeah, here it is. Apprentice Illusion Magician. It's, it's, I'm, I'm starting to get frustrated with all, these, with all these waifu cards that we can't get. So we have Apprentice Illusion Magician. Destroys the shield warrior. Uh, we don't have the conditions for... Now, y y knowing that he would have... Um, oh, we already saw you. Uh, knowing that he was only going to summon the one monster, not OTK, we go for the, uh, we go for the, we, I should have just not played the Shield Warrior and then Draw Sense Light for the, yeah, so there's Draw Sense Light for the, uh, Silent Swordsman, so that's the one that we activated, the, the, the Power Crystal. Magician Navigation negates the Noble Arms of Destiny, uh, but it doesn't destroy it or send it to the graveyard or anything weird. So now Silent Swordsman is 1,500. Uh, we're going to pump him up with Silent Sword of Slash. And then, all right, so here's the, you need at least two protections, all right? You need at least two protections. Uh, you need at least your Silent Sword of Slash, uh, your Noble Arms of Destiny, or uh, your Shield Warrior. You, you need, generally you need two of those three, but we have so many in the deck that, that that's uh, generally going to happen. And then once your Silent Swordsman is up at 3,500, he's safe because he can negate uh, the Thousand Knives. He can... And he... He is bigger than Silent Magician. Silent Magician. Bigger than Dark Magician equipped with the book. Dark... Whatever. The, the book equip spell. Because that makes him 3,200. And only... The only way Yami Yugi can overcome Silent Swordsman at level 30... At 3,500 attack is a really weird and really specific combo with uh, Dark Magic Extended, which actually I haven't seen at all, and that might have been that might be the card that they removed from uh, his deck to make him easier to to win against. Because that that put him up to 4,300, and then he was also unaffected from the uh, Extended Soul, so then like that was, I, I think I think actually that, that must have been what they changed. They cut, they cut out Dark Magic Extended, and then they cut Extended Soul down to one. And also Magician Navigation down to one, uh, but this is yeah this is this is this is gonna this is gonna keep going on uh, until we achieve victory. Uh, be careful about destroying his Legion, the Fiend Jester, because uh, the Legions will pull Dark Magician out of the deck unless they're all in the graveyard. Then it pulls him out of the graveyard, but he does pull them out of the deck, and then that's a means for him to thin his deck. And then one more thing before we get into the deck list, and that is that, uh, as you saw, when we, as you saw ju just previously, uh, there's a it's a very thin margin on this. You have every you have to get every single uh, like no cards, effect damage, all of that in order to, uh, and you need all of your you need at least 600 points of prisma and glossy. In order to uh, get the get the maximum over 8k dual assessment and get all of your rewards, but it is possible. It's just not as free and easy as it is with the god cards. Uh, but you know, I was thinking like, since since I have the, the silent swordsman, like why not why not make use of him? Why not get your money's worth? Uh, especially since silent swordsman seems to uh, counter uh, yeah, epic yams deck. Uh, very nicely. All right, so that, and you get a you get a big you get a big attack off of your off of your um, gravekeeper's vassal. So here's the deck list. Uh, we're using draw sense light. We have three silent swordsmen. Just period unleveled. Uh, you could do that. You, you definitely don't need three. Uh, I'm just having the third one in there because I have him. Uh, you don't even need two, really. Uh, you could do this. This could be easily free-to-play. 
Uh, you could do, uh, you could even do like this, okay? Uh, you could do the one Sans Swordsman, and then all of these warriors, and then, you know, Sans Sword Slash, uh, Heated Heart, uh, Noble Arms of Destiny. Uh, but, for the purposes of, of what I was actually using, I had three Sans Swordsmen, I had three Obnoxious Celtic Guardian, cannot be destroyed, with 19 or more attack. This... Celtic Guardian is great for popping your Draw Sense Light because he can't be destroyed by the Dark Magician and then the Dark Magician keeps whittling away and then you can pop Draw Sense Light. It's great. Uh, Shield Warrior is your protection. We have Gravekeeper's Vassal. Uh, a single Union Attack. Three Noble Arms of Destiny. Uh, you can't Once you play one of these, you can't play any more because you can only control one. Um, you have your Silent Sword slash... So these, so Destiny, Slash, and Shield Warrior, th those cards constitute your protection. Uh, a Heated Heart for piercing damage, and Legacy of Yada, of course you can use Jar of Greed, it's just that I have Glossy Yada. So, that's uh, the f uh, new farm deck for e Epic Yami, and actually, you could just use this template for a new farm deck in general, and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll see what we can what 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 decks we can farm with that uh if you test it out and get that data please let us know in the comments below thank you for watching